If this is not gaslighting, I don't know what it is, bro. Because all my life, all my life, I've been made to feel as if there was something wrong with me, okay? <laughs> like, oh my God, by everybody surrounding me, okay? But I was not the problem. Like, it's so amazing to me, bro. All praises to the living power. All praises, all praises. That's how I can be so um, abrasive. I don't mean to be abrasive, okay? I don't mean to be. But see, <laughs> like, I love you and I am passionate, okay? I am the pure essence of passion, all right? I'm passionate, okay? <laughs> I'm very passionate and, and I cannot sugarcoat, okay? And all my life, I've been gaslighted, all right? See, I never knew that I was not a lover of money. I did not understand that that was the reason why I did a lot of the things that I did, okay? I didn't have the understanding that it was because I was not a lover of money. I did not come into that realization until recently when I have been validated by the Most High through the hidden records, the sealed books, okay, that has been unsealed in this day and when I have been commanded to speak. Okay, well, let me change that from commanded because it's not really a commandment. It's more like a go ahead. Okay, it's more like um, an instruction. All right. Um, I have been validated. The father is like, go ahead, my child. Now is your time. It's your turn. Go all in. You know who give it your all, my child, because now I am lifting you up, okay? I don't say this, uh, bro, <laughs> oh my God, I keep being accused of being arrogant, but how can I be arrogant when I am under the authority of the living power? Okay, and the Holy Spirit, all right, my big brother, Yahushua HaMashiach, and the Spirit of Truth, okay, my angelic family, the righteous ones, all right, there is no way that I am prideful and arrogant, or I would not have communion with the living power, and I would not have the Holy Spirit residing within me. You people just want to misrepresent me. You want to project your reality onto me. Because in essence, you are arrogant. You refuse to humble yourself to unlearn what you have been taught upon this earth all your life. And relearn via the spirit of truth, okay? Humbling yourself to correct yourself. Allowing yourself to hear by way of the Spirit so that you can feel the conviction. And it's, it will make you very uneasy. It's hard to hear the truth. Okay? You need to understand that. But that this is why you have a conscience. Okay? Okay? I understand that you're taught to tune out your conscience. All right? This is what we're taught when we come into this world. They don't want you thinking for yourself, okay? No, they program your mind. And, and, and they force you to block out your conscience. That small, still voice that tells you there's something wrong with this. You know, warning, a warning signal that goes off, okay? We're taught to suppress that and override it with the words of men. Override it with what we have been taught by mortal men. What we read in pages of books that have been manipulated by wicked men of perverse minds. 
they sought to distort and twist the doctrines of Yahusha HaMashiach, the true doctrines, what he truly came here teaching. Not what men want to do so they wrote in these things. The, bro, why in the hell would the living power create living beings for you to kill them and eat their dead body? Why don't you use common sense? Because it's been a drill all your life to negate common sense and listen to the status quo. Listen to your leaders. Listen to your teacher. Listen to the one that set themselves up in authority over you. There should be only one authority over you. And, and that's the living power. Not no freaking mortal man upon this earth. Are you kidding me? But yet all my life, I have been made to feel like I am the issue. Because I don't want to line up with this system. Because I think for myself. I am not a robot, okay? I don't conform, alright? I am here to transform, okay? So, bro, there, yesterday there was such a profound, oh my God, I was out, I was out doing my shopping, this is right before I started getting almost dizzy, and I was outside in that freaking overbearing heat, bro, that sun was just beaming down on the back of my head, right, and before I started getting this dizzy feeling, I had such a profound download, like, oh my God, bro. I don't even know if I can remember what it was. But it was so profound, bro. I don't know if I can say it exactly. If I had to bring it back to my remembrance of what it was. I didn't I didn't have a chance to write it down because like I said I was out um doing my grocery shopping and I was heading home. I had went to three places. <laughs> um so it was so profound, bro, and it was so real. You know, and it pertains to what I'm saying um, about being a robot and how I've been hated <laughs> because I would not conform, because I would not go into their box with them. You know, they feel disrespected <laughs> because I won't get in their box, bro. Like, <laughs> my God, I am here to help free you. Okay, I'm not here to get in your box because I'm here to help you out of the boxes that they created for you to be in, you know, and they placed fear there. Okay, you're afraid. That's the truthfulness of it. Okay, they used fear in order to keep you in your box. So you have to admit that you're afraid, okay? I'm not afraid, all right? So don't be mad at me because I'm not afraid, okay? Because I'm not afraid, I'm closer to the enemy than you are. Okay, I'm blocking you off from the enemy. All right, so like I'm in essence protecting you, but yet you hate me so much. I get a lot of spiritual warfare against me, I go through hell on this earth. All for you, because, bro. As I started out saying, I did not have the understanding that I was not a lover of money. It was given to me by divine inspiration that that is the reason why I did not do the things that these people were trying to force me to do. Like I could, I, I did them, but I couldn't put my essence into it, okay? Like, you people expect me to just give my all into your system. 
you know, I did the motions, okay? But you're not going to get all of me, all right? I, I did the motions, and you know what they did to me? They didn't even give me enough back in order to be happy. No. I was very miserable because I put in a huge amount of my time, energy, and effort doing something that I did not want to do to earn something that I could care less about. Also, that I could sustain my damn life, okay? And I had no understanding on the reason why that was. It kind of irritated me. Like, why the hell am I here? Why I'm not here to just freaking pay bills and freaking die, okay? Like, you got me bit, bro. This is a life of freaking hell. I want to have understanding and know why, okay? That was me, all right? All my life, that was me. I was not a lover of money. I was a lover of freedom and happiness, okay? Truth. I wanted to understand this world. I could care less what these people were telling me. They were saying one thing, but I was seeing another, okay? So I knew that these people were lying. Okay? Deep down, I knew there was something wrong. Deep down, I knew that there was a deception here. Okay? But I had no understanding. I could see. I could hear. You know, but I had no understanding. The understanding came later by divine inspiration as I sought first the kingdom and his righteousness. All of these things have been given unto me, bro. All of these perils of wisdom and knowledge and divine understanding. See, you people want to be mad at me because I won't... I won't conform and do what you do. And I can't exactly remember... What it was that I said, what that was in my head yesterday, bro, it was so profound. Oh my gosh, I love it. And and I'm sure, you know, it'll come back to me because it pertains to everything that, you know, I've been bringing out is on one accord. It was just deeper insight that was like divinely downloaded to me, bro. It was just automatically there in my mind, like expounding on some things. Like, I just automatically had this understanding. And it, it's great, bro. Like, there is nothing better than this. I would not trade it. I would not trade it for a million dollars, okay? I would not trade it for any amount, all right? See, I never cared about money. <laughs> and that's what it is, bro. I never cared. I never cared about the riches of this world. And my heart pines after truth, wisdom, and knowledge. I love the living power. I love all humanity and all creation. I want us all to live in harmony. In paradise. You know? All of us have an abundance. You know? I, I hate greed, bro. I hate selfishness. You know, but I've seen these things in the people around me all my life. I've never been that type of person. I've been the complete opposite. But yet people have been unkind and selfish with me my whole life, bro. My whole life. People have been unkind and selfish to me. When I have been a giver um, all my life. A giver, a lover, a compassionate person all, all around, you know, overall, all around. <sighs> Not a hateful bone in my body. I don't harvest any grudges towards anybody. <clears throat> I'm not jealous of anybody. I don't envy anybody. Like, bro... How rare is that? Okay? See, you people are so pretentious that you will make up in your mind and be like, you're just a liar. You are these things. You're just on social media here trying to portray yourself as this and this and that. Really, you can believe whatever the hell you want. 
but I'm not a liar. And I would not sit here and bold face lie while I'm dependent upon the living power to sustain my life. <laughs> So it is what it is, it's already up in us. We're extensions of the living power and he just brung it back to my remembrance. Mm, mm, mm. This is the same word that never changed. From the time in the beginning, when he said, love one another, be kind to one another, do for one another things that you will want done to yourself and for yourself. Love your maker. Love the living power. That's the first thing. And then love your neighbor as you do yourself. Help your neighbor in their time of need. Because that's what you will want if you were in a time of need. Don't be of greed. That's the complete opposite of love. Selfishness. The complete opposite of love and kindness and compassion and mercy. This same message has been here from time immemorial, bro. Time immemorial. It has been here from the living power. You know, through all the freaking prophets, through the Messiah saying the same word. The extensions of the living power coming to the earth, speaking the same exact word. And over and over and over and over and over repeatedly, we are rejected by majority of humanity. Because they are deceived into wealth and vanity. These things are given abundantly by the living power. These are resources of the earth. What is wrong with you people? Do you not understand that nobody, nobody can claim anything on this earth? There's just wicked people who decided to put value systems on these things and then sell it, okay? These wicked people decided to put you in captivity. Perpetual captivity. Okay? Like, oh my God. It's a smoke screen. Okay? Your money and your wealth is a smoke screen. Is what they use to distract you. And then they throw in sex. That's why porn is free. Yes. Yeah, yes, bro. I was I was attached to that too. I I was under the net of that as well. Okay? I was under the net of the lust. Alright? I was never under the net of of, of you know greed. Or anything like that. No, but I was forced to freaking be a workhorse. You know, pump. You know, put my freaking time, energy, and effort into this fucking system. And I got nothing out of it other than my bare necessities. And my pacifiers. Barely enough for that. Buck, 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 you know, for this freaking system, and I get hardly nothing back from it. 
And I'm forced to do that. I'm forced to put my time, energy, and effort into that. Also, I can earn some freaking paper money <laughs> that wicked men printed and place a value on it. <laughs> Inflation being caused by the same people that put us all up under captivity. And you people are complacent with that, but you want to hate me because I'm calling this stuff out. Bruh, it is the 23rd. Let me finish what that download was. Over and over and over. Oh, I think I did. Yeah, I did. I told you what it was. Because he keeps sending his extensions to this earth. And every single time we are rejected, bro. We're rejected. And they want to cast us out of our houses. I don't have the money to pay freaking rent, bro. Come September. Right now, I'm on zero. Okay? With, with a handful of pennies. That's what I have to my name. Alright? Zero dollars in my checking account. Zero dollars on my cash app. I literally had to use change yesterday to get me a box of tubes and one pack of papers. I bought Tiger another bag of food. Um, I bought him another thing of litter. Um... And I bought me some TP. That's what I used. I think it was $26 that I had in my checking account. Um, so I used that on my bare necessities and things that Tiger needed. And yesterday, like I said, I bought me some tubes, one box, and one pack of papers. And I am on zero with a handful of pennies. Less than freaking 50 pennies, okay? Probably less than 20 pennies. I don't know, but I ain't gonna count them right now. Because it's irrelevant. You know? Physically, I am impoverished. But spiritually, I am very wealthy. And I would not trade it for any amount of money. You cannot pay me. To be silent. You cannot pay me. To retract. The things that I've received. By way of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to go ahead. And give you a little gem right quick. See. You want to continue. Listening to your leaders. That set themselves up in authority. Over you. You go right ahead. And do that. Be, continue to be deceived and misled. Alright? Continue that. That's, if that's what you choose. Because I, I ain't your ruler, okay? I ain't your leader. I ain't your pastor. I'm, I'm not your freaking prophet. I, I ain't your minister. I ain't none of this, okay? I'm just a willing vessel that has chosen to humble myself before the leading of the Holy Spirit. And have been retaught. You know, I unlearned so that I could relearn by way of the Holy Spirit. All right? That's that's all I am. Okay? I'm a mere vessel that's chosen to do the will of my maker. All right? That's it. And I live what I speak. So, I'm about to show you something right quick. Because your pastors, your rabbis, all these people have to swear an oath. They have to swear an oath that they cannot interpret the scriptures without the unanimous consent of their, quote, holy fathers. They don't get to know anything about these, quote, holy fathers. They can't read their writings, their books, and 
None of that. None, none of the things that they talk about amongst themselves, the quote, holy fathers, these priests and your pastors, they are under subjection of mortal men. Okay? They're not allowed to go outside from up under the thumb of mortal men. Fifty years in the church of Rome. That's the name of this book. I'll show you the book cover. But for the most part, this is going to be a podcast. Um, unless, you know... Someone is obedient to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Because the Most High did not create money. Okay? He didn't didn't create this. No. Satan created it. Along with his minions. Okay? Well, I choose not to participate in that any longer. Because I've been instructed to do something different. So, I'm being obedient. I only have till the 25th before my internet's supposed to be cut. And my account in default. In order to have my internet come back, I'd have to pay damn near $200 or so. Right now it's 108 that I owe. Alright, so, I don't know what chapter this is. I think it's chapter 16, um, because I remember when Big Judah brought this out, okay? Um, Credit Big Judah, because I would not have this had Big Judah not brought it out, and I was led to it by way of the Holy Spirit, okay? So I do want to shout out Big Judah, um, thanking him for dropping this jewel, okay? Dropping this gem, and I commented on his video I'm thanking him, alright? So I'm not trying to, you know, um, act like I bought this book. Like, no, my brother has this book. (laughs) Um, The priest of Rome and the Holy Fathers, or how I swore to give up the word of God to follow the word of men. There are several imposing ceremonies at the ordination of a priest, and I will never forget the joy I felt when the Roman pontiff presenting to me the Bible ordered me with a solemn voice to study and preach it. That order passed through my soul as a beam of light. But alas, Those rays of light and life were soon to be followed as a flash of lightning in a stormy night by the most sudden and distressing darkness. When holding the sacred volume, I accepted with unspeakable joy the command of studying and preaching its saving truth. But I felt as if a thunderbolt had fallen upon me when I pronounced the awful oath which is required from every priest. I will never interpret the holy scriptures except according to the unanimous consent of the holy fathers. That was a quote. I will never interpret the holy scriptures except according to to the unanimous consent of the Holy Fathers. Many times with the other students in theology, I had discussed the nature of that strange oath. Still, more often, in the silence of my meditations, alone in the presence of God, I had tried to phantom the bottomless abyss which it seemed to me was dug under my feet by it. Dug under my feet by it. 
And every time my conscience has shrunk in terror from its consequences. But I was not the only one in the seminary who contemplated with an anxious mind is evidently blasphemous nature. About six months before our ordination, Stephen, I can't pronounce this dude's last name, so I'm just going to say Stephen B., all right? <clears throat> Stephen B., one of my fellow theological students, has said in my presence to our superior, the Reverend Mr. Rainbolt, quote, Allow me to tell you that one of the things with which I cannot reconcile my conscience is the solemn oath we will have to take. That we are, let me get the next part. Okay, now that we will, let's see, that we will, okay, <clears throat> that we will never interpret the scriptures. Hold on, make sure. So, yeah, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't get the full uh, page, but <clears throat> this is, this is it. We will never interpret the scriptures except according to the unanimous consent of the Holy Fathers. <clears throat> we have not given a single hour yet to the serious study of the Holy Fathers. I know many priests, and not a single one of them has ever studied the Holy Fathers. They have not even got them in their libraries. We will probably walk in their footsteps. It may be that not a single volume of the Holy Fathers will ever fall into our hands. In the name of common sense, how can we swear that we will follow the sentiments of men of whom we know absolutely nothing and about whom it is more probable we will never know anything except by mere vague hearsay. Our superior gave evident signs of weakness in his answer to that unexpected difficulty, but his embarrassment grew much greater when I said, Mr. B cannot contemplate that oath without anxiety, and he has given you some of his reasons, but he has not said the last word on that strange oath. <clears throat> if you will allow me, Mr. Superior, I will present you some more formidable, formidable objections. It is not so much on account of our ignorance of the doctrines of the Holy Fathers that I tremble when I think that I will have to, quote, swear to never interpret the scriptures except according to their unanimous consent. <clears throat> Would to God that I could say with Mr. B, I know nothing of the Holy Fathers. How can I swear that they will guide me in all my ways? It is true that we know so little of them that it is supremely ridiculous if it is not an insult to God and to man that we take them for our guides. But my regret is that we know already too much of the Holy Fathers to be exempt from perjuring ourselves when we swear that we will not interpret the Holy Scriptures <clears throat> except according to their unanimous consent. But my regret is that we know already too much of the Holy Fathers to be exempt from perjuring ourselves when we swear that we will not interpret the Holy Scriptures except according to their unanimous consent. 
Is it not a fact that the Holy Father's writings are so perfectly kept out of sight that it is absolutely impossible to? And it cuts off. That's all I was able to get. That's all Big Judah had get, given at that moment. So um, that's all I have on that right now. But you, you see this, okay? You see this. Your leaders are under subjection of men that set themselves in authority over them, okay? And, and the ones at the top top, they're under subjection of demons and devils and Satan himself, okay? So, um, you're listening to the wrong people, all right? I didn't bring this out several different times, um, in several different ways, in several different aspects, okay? So I'm not going to keep this on. Um, shalom.